uh, let's play the piano now, or, you know, in a way, play the piano. A boogie-woogie piano player, a guy called Brendan Kavanagh, who loves to go to, you know, get these uh, pianos in stations. There's one mm. around the corner. In, there's an organ, actually, in uh, London Bridge Station. Is there? Yeah, big organ. Uh, very impressive, some of the ladies who play on it, and, and the children, and the men. Why, why did I just specify <laughs> ladies? It was all getting I don't a know why I specify Everybody honest, plays on it, and some, of them, some of them are dreadful, but some of them are very impressive. Anyway, at uh, King's Cross Station, there's a piano there uh, for the public to play. A guy called Brendan Kavanagh yeah. often goes there, calls himself Dr. K, uh, and he plays uh, boogie-woogie music, and he was doing this the other day, and he shares these videos on uh, YouTube. Uh, here he is. And uh, a bunch of Chinese tourists came, came over to him and said, you can't film us. You can't film us because, uh, you know, we're Chinese and uh, you, you're not allowed to. And he said, well, this is Britain, it's not China. Uh, and uh, you can't tell me what to do. Well, you mustn't put that up on YouTube. Uh, he said, well, I'm sorry, this is a free country. As he said, I thought, blimey, we're in town and I've got a bunch of Chinese people telling me what I can't do. And I thought, enough is enough. Uh, they have complained about his behaviour. They say that uh, he physically abused one of the tourists. He said he did no such thing. He just gr grabbed her flag. But if, if Brendan's story is true, and we'll have a listen to him in a minute, because he talked to Mike Graham last night on The Independent Republic of Mike Graham from 9 p.m. until 11 every night on Talk TV. Uh, if he's telling the truth, then, yeah, these Chinese tourists can do one. By all means, behave like this in your ridiculous authoritarian country, uh, your own country, but this is a bit different I kind of think that they're worried about their ridiculous authoritarian country. Country, which is why they're all like getting their mugs put on the internet. And, you know, President Xi will probably go, hello, who are these in London? Why have they come in fancy dress as China, though? I don't get that. They're all in there, like, you know, the red with the little flags they're and everything. Devoted like... people. They're devoted people. Uh, have we got a little uh, slot of Brendan talking to Mike Graham last night? He wanted to turn St Pancras into the People's Republic of St Pancras. And I thought, no, no way, we're, we're in London. He was obviously used to being obeyed. And some, Chi some Chinese people have said, if, if, so if you were shouted at that, like that in China, you'd be taken off to the council. He seems like a good guy, but uh, I'm always suspicious of people who wear sunglasses indoors. Oh, my gosh, you indoors, read my mind. I was indoors. about to say people who wear sunglasses indoors. You don't sunglasses need sunglasses indoors. indoors. We need to raise awareness about that issue. Yeah, see, yeah, that's one of the <laughs> issues I will be raising awareness of, as opposed to the many Indoor issues sunglasses. I want to Make lower awareness of. Lowering awareness of climate change is very, very important. Then we can get rid of that idiot from the BBC, the uh, climate editor, Justin Rowlett, whose reports get madder and madder and madder. He's gone to the Robert Peston School of Madness, hasn't oh, he? God, There's sort yeah. of some sort of finishing school now for BBC journalists to wear crazy socks, not brush their hair, <laughs> and act like a sort of retired thespian on, on speed. Yeah, why doesn't Robert P Peston brush his hair? Because he's losing it. Right, uh, <laughs> talking of schools, great segue. Uh, talking of schools, <laughs> uh, boarding schools. Uh, now, the government has issued guidance to all schools, mm -hmm. uh, but particularly boarding schools, public boarding schools, uh, saying that uh, when it comes to sleeping, uh, trans pupils, people, pupils who identify as trans, you know, should sleep in rooms of their own uh, biological gender, but two top uh, co-educational public schools, Taunton School and Beedales. A friend of mine's kids went to Beedales. Oh, you're posh, very, aren't you? Very top. Uh, both of which come in around about 45 grand a year, if you want to send your teachers right. to these. Uh, they are allowing pupils who identify as trans to sleep in the dormitories of their chosen gender. So if it's a big hairy, backsided bloke who decides he's yeah. a woman, he can go and sleep with the girls. I'm not sure let's, the girls will be all that thrilled yeah, let's about just that. imagine this, a sort of pubescent adolescent teenage boy mm. suddenly sleeping in the same room as girls who are taking off their bras and, uh, you know, doing what girls do. Yeah. Um, no, it's not right. It's some sort of form of child abuse. And I think if I was the parent of a daughter or a son, actually, I'd just not pay the 45 yeah. grand. Rip off anyway. You don't need to go to school with a fancy name. I didn't. I went to state school. Did perfectly well. Don't pay to go to these places with boating lakes and nonsense like that. It just makes mm. people weird. <laughs> 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 this is right. That's basically <laughs> it, isn't it? It's just weird. Uh, <laughs> just and weird. as the government said, it's, you know, sometimes you have to cut back all the verbiage, all the rubbish, and get <laughs> to the crunch of the issue, and she just did. It's just weird. The government's draft guidance, by the way, states, no child should be allowed to share a room with a child of the opposite sex. 
what the government said. Listen to that. That is common sense. Yeah. Not often you get it from the government, but you got it there. And these schools uh, not following that common sense advice. I mean, you're just ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. It's not about you sir, uh, signalling your own virtue. It's about sensible policies that are good for kids. Uh, not and... kids. Now, get rid of the school and turn it into fancy uh, apartments because... Because uh, you need a housing. place to buy, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we need, we need <laughs> more housing, so get rid of all the schools <laughs> with their names gone. Yeah.